Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is episode 2 of Reliving the Red Devils. We are kicking off the season today. We've got some stuff to show you first though. So make sure you like the video, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Let's jump into them transfers and see how we did in pre-season. Okay then guys, this is the fun part. Let's have a look at how we did in pre-season. We'll check the transfers and then we're going to jump into the first league game of the season. So the first game we played was against Addo Den Haag. A 4-1 win away from home. Dwight York getting a very early goal before Van Nistelrooy then got his hat-trick. So very, very good result there. Good performances from Beckham, Keane, Johnson and Gary Neville. So quite happy with that first game we played there. We then played final and won 4-2 away from home. Van Nistelrooy, Dwight York, Van Nistelrooy and Solskjaer. Great performance again. The 4-4-2 really coming into its own at the minute. We then played the Man U second 11 and we absolutely destroyed them 6-0. Uh, a hat-trick from Van Nistelrooy, two from Keane, is it two from Veron, um, and one from Andy Cole. It's not a lovely 6-0 win there, but that's kind of what you expect. The Man United second 11, it's not the best. We then played Dennis Irwin's testimonial. Skulls and Solskjaer scoring for us. Valeron and Roy Mackay, a name everyone probably all remembers there as well. Decent team, to be fair. Decent team to them. They were a good side back in the day, Deportivo La Coruña. For, for you younger viewers that don't know who they are, they were good back in the day. We then played Sporting and won 1-0. And the goal scorer is a very interesting signing. I wonder who that could be. We'll save that for when we show you the transfers, though. And in the last friendly, we lost 3-1 to AC Milan. As you can see, the team, this was not our strongest team. Van der Howe in goal. We even had Phil Neville at right wing. We had some guy, Davis, up front. I don't even know who he are. James Roger William Davis. We had loads of players out on international duty. I'm not sure why we had a friendly book for them, but we did, and we lost. But now the preseason's out of the way. Let's show you them transfers, because this is what everyone wants to see. First signing we made was Wayne Rooney. 15 years old, Wayne Rooney. Only says three-star potential, but I've got a feeling he's going to turn into a good player. I've looked into my crystal ball, and I reckon he's got a good future ahead of him. The next signing we made was Jamie Vardy, 14 years old. Only one and a half star potential. Again, I think he's got some potential though. I've, I've got a feeling some of these players that I've bought, they may go on to be stars. I know these aren't realistic transfers, guys, but we're here to have fun with this. People want to see signings and stuff like that, so that's what we're going to do. Enough of the realism. Let's just have some fun with it. The next signing, one of my favourite players ever, Fernando Torres. He was lightning quick when he was at Liverpool. Before he went to Chelsea and had the injury problem and it sort of, he lost that yard of pace. What a player he was. 17 years old, five star potential. He will definitely be banging in goals. I'd imagine this year as well. I think we could probably get him some game time this year. But yeah, I'm excited to see how he does. And this guy, uh, this is a guy United missed out on. So close before he went to Chelsea. I am Robin. Only 17 years old. Already a wonder kid. Look at his attributes. He is insane already. He will definitely, definitely, definitely feature in the first team at some point. Next signing is also someone Man United missed out on slightly, I do believe. Luka Modric. Only 16 years old. Signed him from Dynamo... Uh, do believe yes dynamo again good player you know how good he turns out he'll he'll be one of the central midfielders for years and years to come and the penultimate one cristiano ronaldo we had to do it we had to bring cristiano into manchester united but i'm going to say one thing he is not the guy that scored the goal in that friendly this is the man we signed R9, 24 years old slightly before his prime already an elite striker He's going to bang goals in. I don't think they've done his attributes justice in this. But I think we can maybe improve him a little bit. And I know he will score goals. We've added the face in ourselves. £9.5 million they accepted. Absolute scenes. This is what we did though. We had to sell one. We sold Andy Cole. Didn't want to sell him. But he's a great player. But he was one of the ones. I'd... Out of the four, he's my least favourite. So we got rid of Andy Cole. Brought in Ronaldo. This is a Premier League side, Premier League winning side already. Adding Ronaldo into it just goes one step further, in my opinion. Uh, we didn't make any other signing or sales or sales. Teddy Sheringham has gone. I wonder where Sheringham was gone. I didn't realise that was the season he went. A little bit upset about that because he was, he was a little bit of an idol of mine. I did love him back in the day. But yeah, that is it, guys. So we are going to jump into the game. First league game of the season at home to Fulham. This will be a one-game episode because we've already shown you some stuff in it. I don't want it to run too long. So let me pick the team and I'll see you in the game. Right then, guys. This is the team we're going to go for. 
Bartes in goal, Gary Neville right back, Blanc and Jonsson at centre back, Silvestre left back, Giggs, Keane, Veron and Beckham. No skulls, weirdly enough. Apparently, Veron is actually better in this game. Skulls will feature, so will Nicky, but I'm going to rotate a lot in this side. And we've gone for Van Nistelrooy and Ronaldo up top. So we've left out Dwight York and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They will feature again. We're going to rotate heavily, but I'm going to play with them two up top. Let's do this. First league game of the season. Can we get a win? If I'm not mistaken, I do believe Manchester United used to have some problems against Fulham back in the day. I'm not sure if it was Fulham. Something just something tells me it was. Hopefully, it doesn't happen to us. So let's kick this off then, guys. A full house at Old Trafford. Let's see how we do. Beckham to Sylvester. Plays it short. Giggs now. What can he do with the ball? He's gone down. It looks like a penalty. We're going to VAR in the year 2001. This seems weird. Let's see. The ref is checking it. Kevin Friend, and he's given the penalty. No idea who's going to take this. Veron's apparently going to take it. I feel like we should let R9 take this. Let's try and get him a nice debut goal in the fifth minute. Come on, Ronaldo. You can do this, I believe. Steps up. And he slots into the bottom corner. R9 does not miss those. That is what you love to see. Ronaldo getting a goal five minutes into his debut. That's a great start to this season. Van der Sar kicks it long. Blanc does header it. Varon to Beckham. What a lovely ball with his left foot, not his right this time. Giggs into the area, shoots straight at Van der Sar, who is, don't forget, a Man United player in the future. Collins now with the corner, swings it in, headed away. Van Nistelrooy can break now. It's two on two there. Can he use it, Ronaldo? He can. Ronaldo goes past his man. And it's 2-0. Van Nistelrooy with a great run, gives it to Ronaldo. We are 12 minutes in and we are 2-0 up. A brace from Ronaldo. Thank you very much. He is on for the hat-trick on his debut. Louis Saha kicks off. Again, another future Manchester United player in real life. Harley now to Collins. Coleman. Pumps it long and nobody's there. Sylvester is just going to pick up the ball with ease here. What is he going to do with it? No mistakes from Mikel Sylvester. Plays it down the line to Giggs. Great ball. Over the top for Van Nistelrooy, but it's a poor ball. Fulham regain possession now. Collins out to Stolchers. Again, what an awful pass. Again, a lot of poor passing so far in this game. Jonsson tries to play it long again, but no. Varon cuts it out of the header, though, this time. Goes straight through the middle. That's oh, a good chance to make it 3-0, but Van der Sar is equal to it. Collins now with the free kick. And Bartes claims very well. I'm pretty sure he'd have probably dropped that in real life, but this is not real life. This is FM21. Giggs now. Back to Van der Lovely give and go. Van der into the area. That's a good tackle by Coleman. Still alive, though, Will Sylvester, though. Keen. Into Veron, to Ronaldo, Van Nistelrooy, lovely football. Van Nistelrooy does not miss a second chance. Van Nistelrooy makes it three. 24 minutes gone. This game is everything but over still, though, yet, yeah, guys. Everything but over. They can still come back and win this. They probably won't, but they can. I'm just trying to keep it interesting, guys. Try help me out here. I didn't think we'd win this easily, this game. There's been highlight after highlight, and we're on key highlights. So I'm glad there's only one game. Sylvester now, Jonsson, Giggs. That's a terrible pass there, though. Boa Morte. Lewis Boa Morte, what a player. Sylvester heads it. Giggs now. Van Nistelrooy, it's a poor ball. I, I, we're going too long all the time. I want to slow it down a little bit. Let's do shorter standard passing because we are literally just pumping it long every single time. And I don't want to do that every time. Blanc now. Down the line to Beckham. Pumps it over the top and it's worked. It's Van Nistelrooy. Oh, he's hit the post. A chance of 4-0 in the 25th minute. That would have made both strikers on for the hat-trick as well. Beckham now with the free kick. Oh, it's Van Nistelrooy with a good header. And Van Nistelrooy makes another save. Van Nistelrooy lumps it long. And it's just going to come straight back to us. And we're going to be on the attack again. Over the top for Ronaldo. But Coleman clears. Just picked up by Gary Neville. This is literally just coming back to us every single time. There's no respite for Fulham. That's just unlucky. We can't get through there. Jonsson. Into Sylvester. Left-hand side of the box for Sylvester. Shoots. Oh, he puts it kind of well over, to be fair. Jonsson now gives it to Sylvester. Back to Jonsson. Pumps it over the top for Van Nistelrooy. He's onside into Ronaldo. And it's three for Ronaldo. Four on the night. Three for Ronaldo. He gets the hat-trick 36 minutes into his debut. Not a bad start from the Brazilian. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Look at this. We said pass shorter. They still pass over the top. Van Nistelrooy is there. He cuts it in. Ronaldo scores. 1-0. A 4-0, sorry. Thank you very much. Van Nistelrooy into Giggs. This is an onslaught of the minute. It's a good tackle. 
Is it a pen? No, it's not. It slowed that the highlight slowed down a little bit there. Oh, Louis Saha is gonna take it. Here's one on one with the keeper. Can he score? Bartes with the very good stop. What a save from Fabian Bartes. Beckham now with a free kick in a very good area. Beckham does what Beckham does. David Beckham makes it five just before half time. We had to get a David Beckham free kick on the first game of the season. I'm so happy about that. That is my idol right there. He was my he was my idol when I was growing up. He still is today. Love the man. And there we go, guys. 5-0 up at halftime. Not a bad performance. All we can do is tell them how well they've done. We could even take Ronaldo off at this point. He's got his hat-trick. Let's get Dwight York on. He does need the game time. Uh, the game is pretty much won now as well. So let's make some more changes. We can go for... I would like to see... Who do we want to bring on? I'd like to see Paul Scholes come on. Maybe for Veron. And we'll leave it there. Because we don't want to make too many changes. You only get three subs, I do believe. Laurent Blanc. Out to Beckham. Beckham goes down. It's a second yellow card. I didn't realise he was booked. And Harley is off. And they are down to 10 men. It is all falling apart from Fulham here. Terrible, terrible from them. Gary Neville now with the throw in. Gives it to Beckham. To York. Lovely ball to Van Nistelrooy. Oh, it's a great save from Van der Sar. What a save. I'm not sure if that smashed him in the face or he's actually saved that. But either way, good stop. Bartes plays it to Neville. Blanc. Ronnie Johnson. Over the top again when we've asked him quite clearly not to do that. But it's fine. You just keep doing what you want to do. Beckham now on the right-hand side. Pumps it forward. Van Nistelrooy chance again. And it's a goal. Rude Van Nistelrooy scores his second of the game. It's Man United's sixth. They're still over half. There's only... No, sorry. There's only over 20 minutes left of the game. And it's 6-0. We might hit double figures here. Bartes now will just take his time. Gives it to Mikel Silvest. Runs down the left-hand side. No one coming near him. So finally, someone comes towards him and Keane passes it through. Van Nistelrooy for the hat-trick. It's a hat-trick from Van Nistelrooy. He's got a goal in the 68th and 69th minute. He's on for a world record here. And we know a lot We know a lot of something about that. Trust me. 7-0. 70 minutes gone. 20 minutes left. We only need three goals to get 10. Beckham with the corner. Gives it short to Neville. We'll cut it back to Beckham. Can he get a good ball in here? No, he can't. He's tackled, but Neville will pick it back up. He will then give it to Laurent Blanc. Sylvester now. Gary Neville. Slips it through to York. Chance for eight. Oh, he squared it. For, he's actually squared it. He did the right thing. But it was a great block. Only two minutes added on left. I don't think any more goals are coming. And it is going to be a 7-0 dem demolition job of Fulham. Just absolutely brilliant. What a performance. Hattrick from Ronaldo. Was it a hattrick? Yeah, a hattrick from Van Nistelrooy. And one from David Beckham. Just absolute brilliant. We got a Beckham free kick in there. Just honestly, the perfect start to the season. We will be top after the first game. We will tell them they've played very well. Couldn't have asked for a better start. Really could not. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell so you never miss a video. I appreciate you watching, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.